Welcome back, my dear light bulbs, to another Vinland Saga episode review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army. So I was contemplating whether I was going to review this episode or not, not because the episode was bad or anything, but I decided, you know what? Yeah, let me review it. So the main takeaway from this episode is that the escape slave in the very beginning of the episode that killed his master, his name is Gardar, right? But not only that, the major shock you revealed is that he is the husband of the woman slave, Arnheed, right? That's her name. So the slave from Cattell's farm. And now this puts a very interesting dynamic into the series, all right? Because Thorfinn and Aenor are very close to being freed, right? And they're definitely going to be freed, especially Thorfinn, because Leif helped Cattell... Thorgil and Omar all escape and going back to the farm. And he was like, okay, you got to buy my stuff, all my merchandise, three times the price for doing this for you. Because Leif literally opposed the king of not only England and also the soon to be king of Denmark in King Canute. I almost said prince. He's not a prince anymore. Right? So... He will be deemed a traitor, and if he's found, if it's found out that it was him that helped them escape, right? So, we have this. So Thorfinn is definitely going to be freed from slavery, and the dynamic now is this, right? Because in the episode, Thorfinn is talking to Aenor, like, "Oh, what are you going to do when you gonna, uh when you're going to be freed and stuff?" And Aenor is like, "Okay, I'm going to stay here on Catil's farm as a farm hand." And hopefully, eventually, Arnheed becomes free as well from her slavery, right? Because he likes Arnheed that much. And this literally puts a big dent in Aner's love, right? Because she, all this time, was actually married to Gardar, who also fell into slavery. So it looks like they both fell into slavery at the same time were separated, so to two different farms. And Arnheed went to Kittel's farm and Gardar went to another farm, which they said the owner of the other farm treated his slaves very, very badly. To the point where we see and, and learn that Gardar not only killed his former master, but also killed all his sons as well, which means the only person that can inherit that farm is his former master's uncle, which put a reward on his head where it was like, if this guy gets captured, if you capture Gardar, three horses for you. And back in the day, having even one horse is a good thing. Three horses. You could probably keep one horse for chores and stuff like that. And then sell the other two for a lot of food and other things, right? So a horse is very valuable in this time, especially for manual labor. And we got to see how valuable a horse was when Aner and Thorfinn were doing manual labor. So now this is going to be interesting. Will Arnheed escape with Gardar? It, it could be a thing, right? So Gardar escapes from his abusive... Uh, way of slavery, right? His former master literally is kissing his feet saying, okay, I'll be your slave. And he's like, oh, since you're my slave, then I, it's my choice whether you live or die. And then he just kills him, right? So I don't know what that slave master was doing, but it must have been some very heinous things, right? To all of them, not just Gardar, all the slaves where he put his house on fire and, you know, killed him and his sons as well. So this takes a very interesting turn as well, right? Because Gardar is strong. He was still able to escape, do all of that mayhem, and also killed one of Snake's men. And now Snake, it looks like he's, he's grabbing his sword to fight Gardar. So this should be interesting, right? Because Gardar, I, I feel, I predict that he's just going to take Arnheed and run the horse and maybe Snake will catch up to him and they'll do battle. They'll have a battle. But only time will tell. We, we have to wait a week to see what actually is going to happen. 
Aner learning that Arnheed is married is definitely going to put a big shock in his head. Like, oh, no. Like, not only is she a slave, but she was actually married before becoming a slave. And we even get to see more of her in this episode where she tells Aner, oh, I had so much fun, you know, over dinner. And it was as if I was free. Like, she hasn't laughed that much. So, oh, man, this is a sticky situation here. We got this story developing here with the love triangle, even though Arnheed hasn't shown any romantic interest in Aner. Ar Arnheed, Gardar, and Aner. And then we also have the event of King Canute going to send an army to subjugate Catil's farm. And we also have Leaf that has to meet Thorfinn again and Catil and... Thorgil and Omar have to prepare to defend the farm as well. And Thorgil, we know he's very strong, but one man versus an army, no matter who you are, you cannot take an entire army by yourself. You could take maybe 20, 30 men by yourself, even though that's crazy numbers, but this is Vinland Saga, by the way. So it is totally possible, but a whole army, no, like it, it, it's, it's not going to happen. And the only way for them to get more military forces on the farm is to hire them to actually pay more fighting capable men. But then at the same time, who really wants to become the enemy of the king of England and the king? I'm going to just call him now the king of Denmark, a two time king with a giant army. I don't think nobody wants to be like, hey, Katil, yeah, I'm going to help you out. Just give me uh, 10 bags of rice or something. Five pounds of rice. 20. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if I was in this series and I was a warrior, I'd be like, yeah, Katil, you're on your own, man. I I I'm not making an enemy of King Canute. You are crazy. So I'm just very excited to see how this all plays out. And, you know, you might be like, oh, how about we get Gardar versus Thorfinn? Thorfinn really has no point in fighting Gardar. They, there's no reason he has to fight Gardar unless Gardar offends Thorfinn or attacks Thorfinn's friend, Aner, right? Now, the other thing this episode pointed out was Thorfinn actually listening to Snake read the Bible to the old... Uh, headmaster and stuff and Aner says this Thorfinn is not a Christian Thorfinn is listening because he finds it interesting the words from the Bible and that reminded me of this live action series it's called Vikings I only watched I believe it was season one and, and the very beginning of season two where one of the Vikings uh, was becoming more religious and you know actually found Christianity interesting and I guess the words in the Bible are definitely hitting home with Thorfinn. So that that's going to be very interesting to see how that develops. And by the way, uh, a content creator on YouTube actually interviewed the creator of Villain Saga, which let's see, Villain Saga creator. And with that interview, the creator said that the main reason he made Vikings and all this violence is because it captivates people, right? Like, for some reason, uh, violence captivates people. So the creator, Gigag, was the one that interviewed him, by the way. He says, I have many, many things I can write about them on life, on why he picked Vikings. Life death and love so those are some of the major themes on why he wrote villain saga because vikings are interesting right it gets the readers hooked but he could tell the story about life death and love which villain saga definitely has all three and there there's many more themes on villain saga and before i end this one all right so the creator says this in the interview as well he says is whether humans can change, changing from yourself in the way you want to, right? And that's what he was talking about. Is that possible? And the creator says, I believe we can. And 
in this season, we definitely see Thorfinn changing from who he used to be to who, who he is currently now. And it's some good stuff, some good writing. I enjoyed this episode. And, I, you know, I'm glad I did the review. I'm glad I did it, you know. I'll give this episode a 7.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed this one. And remember to have a great day. Peace.